CP rail workers are back on the job after the two sides reached a tentative agreement earlier this week. For more on that, let's go to Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Morning, Tyler. Trains are moving again, but it may take a few weeks to hammer out all the details of this deal. Well, it really speaks to how complex this deal involving 3,000 workers at CP Rail really is. You know, there's a lot of calls for the federal government to get involved here. The, the federal government had federal mediators, but they did not want to dip their toes into any back to work legislation. This is critical, and this is why we're seeing that maybe the workers had more leverage than usual because, A, we have CP Rail trying to get done a merger deal upwards of $30 billion with Kansas City Southern, and also the fact that this could have just caused immense supply chain disruptions, this at a time where inflation is hitting record highs. So workers, back on the job, but it will be a little while until everything is smooth with all the all, all, all the little finer details moving forward. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, let's take the train tracks up to Squamish where the wood fiber LNG G plant got a big boost this week thanks to a major investment by an Indonesian tycoon. Tell us about this. Yeah, well, uh, Sukato Tanato of Indonesia, his energy firm is backing the wood fiber LNG deal to the tune of $500 million U.S. That's almost thir one third of the entire cost of this $1.6 billion effort to get uh, LNG running even closer here. Now, the issue, though, going forward is whether or not it can meet demand as European countries scramble to find alternatives to Russia. Look at the project in Kitimat done by by LNG Canada, and we're seeing that that was worth about $40 billion. It's about a, a much larger project, but it's also about 60% of the way done. It's going to be ready to go about later on in the decade. So the question is, can wood fiber get going soon enough to really meet the demand that's just accruing right now, just amid this entire invasion of Ukraine? So big job potential for uh, British Columbians, though. Yeah, big money there, but I guess they're hoping for a big payoff as well. Tyler Orton, business in Vancouver. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Paul.